Good evening, everyone. In this video, I just wanna explain how I clean my hairbrush completely because it's super important to clean your hairbrush every week because if your hairbrush has bad bacteria, it will, the bad bacteria will go into your hair follicle or pores. So you can't grow your healthy hair or it might invite hair loss or more gray hairs. So I always make sure to yeah, clean my hairbrush every week. And I usually clean my hairbrush just soaking in diluted pure castile soap. Or I sometimes use baby shampoo or my hair shampoo to clean my hairbrush. But I recently found the better way. I This is my favorite facial wash, foaming, wipe, foaming wipe, and uh, yeah, this is very good product to clean my face com yeah, very deeply without dryness. It's carbonated foam, makes your skin clean and moisturized, and uh, carbonated foam also promotes your blood circulation in your skin, so yeah, it's also good for aging care. Yeah, you can buy this one in Asian grocery shop in the US. And uh, this contains lactic acid to soften your skin and also hyaluronic acid for moisture and clear up your skin. But I use this one also to clean my hairbrush. I just, yeah, the foam is like this. It's like almost like wipe cream. And this is useful when you are too busy to make <laughs> sick foam like this. And it's so comfy to wash my face with this. Yeah, I have dry sensitive skin, so I really love this product. And uh, you can put this bubble all over your hairbrush and uh, wait for a while and uh, rinse with cold water slowly later. And I also put my hairbrush under the sunlight to dry up hair, my hairbrush completely and to kill bad bacteria. UVA and UVB are very bad for our skin and cause skin cancer, but uh, UV light also has a strong effect to sanitize all bad bacteria. So I remember my grandma always try to sanitize her cutting board and uh, like chopsticks or small things like kids toy under the sunlight and even white t-shirts yeah, become whiter when you hang your t-shirts under the sunlight. So sunlight has strong bleaching and also sanitizing effect. So yeah, so I recommend you to wash your hairbrush <laughs> with soap first and sanitize under the sunlight. But I don't recommend you to use dishwasher liquid. I know many people do that to clean your makeup tool or hairbrush but it's not it's really not good for your skin because many harsh chemical might remain inside of your makeup brush or hairbrush and it might go into your skin or your hair follicle in the future so I don't recommend to use dishwasher liquid and dishwash liquid also contains yeah, most of the case it contains bad chemicals for your skin. So always wear kitchen gloves, sick kitchen gloves when you wash dishes too. Yeah, I also don't like some people wash their pet with yeah, dishwash liquid. Yeah, it's also not good for animals. <laughs> so... Yeah, on, and I think some hairbrush also made from animals' hair, so yeah, it's really not good to use dishwash 
liquid to clean your makeup tool. Yeah. Pure Castile soap is so useful to wash many things. And there are many DIY too. Yeah, you can wash everything with this. So this is also my favorite product. And the fragrance free one is the best for sensitive skin people. <laughs> Thank you for watching my long <laughs> video. Bye.